Hey, how's it going everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're gonna be changing our eye color to make it go from this to this. First off, what you need is you're gonna need a clip of someone's eye and obviously Adobe After Effects. Once you've recorded the clip that you want to use, we're gonna head over to After Effects. I have a clip of me opening my eye. For the sake of this tutorial, I have made it to be one eye because to get the to cut the tutorial short, but of course the exact same steps can be applied to the second eye to get the full effect. Once you have your clip inside of Adobe After Effects, you're gonna wanna duplicate the layer by clicking Ctrl or Command D if you're on a Mac, and then you're gonna go and grab our pen tool, and well first off we're gonna zoom in on the eye, then we're gonna grab our pen tool and draw a mask around the iris. Um, make sure that the mask is not um, on the outer layer or on the edge edges Try to make it a bit on the inside of the edge and don't worry. This doesn't have to be perfect We're gonna feather it and we're gonna click F to open the mask feather and increase the feather a bit Then to change our eye color we're gonna go to the effects and presets tab and we're gonna grab the Lumetri color effect apply it onto our duplicated clip and then what I like to do is, regardless of what color you're going for, I like to increase the exposure by one and the contrast and a bit of saturation to make the color pop. And we increase the contrast to make the color look a bit more realistic and not as if somebody painted the color over your eye. So to change the color, open up the curves tab and then depending on which color you want, you can just open it up. I chose green and I'm gonna increase, um, we're going, sort of going for the S curve and you're decreasing the highs and increasing the lows but it's a bit more steep of course you can play with this um, depending on what color you're going for I'm going to increase the feather a bit more another way you can do this is if you open up color wheels and then you can play around with the shadows make sure not to go all the way though because it will look as if um, it's painted over your eye instead of your eyes color changing like this for example this is too much purple I still prefer using the curves tab as it gives you more um, adjustments although sometimes to get certain colors you're gonna have to go for the color wheels So right now I'm making the green color, I have the one I want, so I'm going to increase the saturation. You're going to want to increase it by a lot and maybe increase the exposure a bit. This looks fine. Increase the feather just a tad. And it's not perfect but it looks okay in my opinion. Now of course um, when you've done that over your eye and your eye moves or you close it, it's, it's still going to be there and it's not going to be positioned. Um, or tracked to your eye. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um, wherever you apply the effect and we're gonna track it onto our eye. In order to do that we're gonna click on the mask and we're gonna go to the tracker and Adobe After Effects and then we're gonna click on the Analyze Forward button. Now it's gonna look all weird and it's gonna take a bit of time to analyze the entire sequence. So I'm just going to fast forward and now it's done and as you can see when it's done you can open up the trackers on your duplicated clip and we're going to find keyframes for the mask path. Uh, most of the time After Effects um, tracks it very accurately but if, if for some reason something is off you can always adjust it manually you have the keyframes right here and in my case it was perfect there's no need for any adjustments so what I'm gonna do is um, at the start of my clip my eyes closed and the mask is still there so what I want to do is I want to go to mask opacity and keyframe that to start from 0 to 100% when I open my eye so we're gonna click on the mask opacity and make a keyframe it starts from 0% and whenever I open my eye I'm gonna add a keyframe and we're gonna set it to 100% 
all right so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video don't hesitate to leave a like don't forget to subscribe for more content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one